All right, hey everybody, it's Dean Hansen here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, sync your poker tracker stats across um, multiple computers. In this case, two computers because poker tracker only lets you use one license on two different computers. Um, I I'll put a link to this description here. This is a tutorial on how to do it on poker tracker's website, but this thing's really not written well and hard to understand, well at least it was for me. So maybe if you've come across this video, you've already seen this this link, but I'll show you a little bit easier way to do it, but essentially we're just following what's on here. Um, but basically this, a little disclaimer at the beginning is, uh, it takes a little bit of maintenance to keep this going. I mean, you can't just set it up and be done. You have to, uh, you have to do you have to copy some files pretty much every time you switch from one computer to the other if you want everything to be in, you know, current. So keep that in mind. Um, and if you know a better way to do this, uh, just let me know. I uh, would really be interested in an easier way. But this is the way, <laughs> this is the way that I know. So that's what we're going with. Um, essentially... You just need to have some kind of uh, cloud storage. Um, I used uh, Dropbox. You get two gigs free. And um, with these hand history files, you know, they're just text files. So you can actually st store a lot of information with two gigs. Um, but there's other options you could use. But the tutorial online here and the video I'm going to show you uses Dropbox. So... Yeah, let's come down. I'm going to kind of go through the, the logic of what you're doing, and then we'll go through it again after I show you how to set it all up. But essentially, you're going to have a computer one and a computer two. Um, I call one computer my desktop, and the other one is my laptop. That's how I keep my computers separate. It's just You're just going to want to know which computer is which when you're trying to do this. Um, and uh, you're going to get some cloud storage provider. Again, Dropbox. You're going to create three folders, three distinct different folders. And you can see my Dropbox right over here. I have archived hands. I have processed desktop and processed laptop. You can call these whatever you want, whatever makes sense to you, as long as you know what they are doing, which we'll explain right now. Um, so essentially, what we're really trying to do is we're going to change our processed folder is going to be on Dropbox as opposed to under the poker tracker file on your computer. Um, and every hand I play on this computer on my desktop will be saved into this processed desktop folder. And every hand that I play on the laptop will be saved to the processed laptop folder. And again, this is a cloud storage folder that can be accessed from any computer as long as I have an internet connection. I can access all three of these folders. <clears throat> so let's show you how to set that up. So go on to computer one or whatever. You're gonna wanna go into poker tracker and you're gonna hit configure, site and import options, preferences, and you're gonna change this file location to the f one of these folders that you created on Dropbox. It'll automatically be set up to a different location. So you'll click here and you'll resave your, you know, you're basically saying move my process files to this folder, which will be for me on this computer, it would be processed desktop. As you can see, um, I'm under users, Dean, Dropbox, processed desktop. All my hand histories will go to processed desktop. <clears throat> And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on my laptop computer, which I'm not going to show you. But I just went in and did the exact same thing, configure, site and import options, preferences, and changed it to the processed laptop. So you're going to need your Dropbox set up on both computers. So you'll have these three files available on both computers, these three folders. Okay. Um, you also need to set up your archived hands folder and to do that you need to come into file and you need to go to open user data folder 
And right here, now I've already changed it, you would normally have in here, you would have a folder called processed. And if you look in my archive, you can see that processed I have moved over here. You'll need to move that processed folder over to the archived hands folder. And that's essentially where when you're playing um, poker that you're going to, uh, that's where it's going to get all of its information. So, <clears throat> so it's a little hard to explain, but you need to do that on both computers. You need to sync your processed folder over to the archived hands folder and co just copy it and paste it right in. And then as you're playing, that's where it's grabbing all the data. That's where your heads up display is getting its data from and everything. So hopefully that makes sense. You're going to play normally. So let's say we played a bunch of hands on here and all those files had gone to this folder. Um, the way we're going to sync it to the other computer is this looks a little confusing at first, but you kind of get the idea. So let's say this is computer one. This is my, my desktop. <clears throat> Move processed files to your sync to folder, which would be my process desktop folder is what I call it. Cause it makes more sense to me. So all the hands I'm playing on this computer are going to move, are going to be saved here in the cloud. And then what I'll do to sync it to my other computer, is I'll go to my other computer and we're going to do get hands from disk. So let's say I've been playing for a few days on my desktop and now I want to sync up all that data to my laptop. So we go in on the laptop. We're getting ready to play a session on the laptop. We're going to come in here. We're going to go to play poker and we're going to go get hands from disk. We're going to select a directory and we're going to go right in to our Dropbox and our process desktop and we're going to grab this folder here. You could grab this one, this one, or this one, whatever one has it in there. Um, I'm essentially just going to grab the root folder that's in there and we're just going to select it and hit OK. And what that's going to do is it's going to import all the hands that we just played on our desktop over to the laptop. Now there's one other thing you've got to do to avoid any duplicates is now that we've copied those hands over, we don't want to leave those in this process desktop folder because if we leave them there, then the next time we copy over, we're going to copy those hands over again and we're going to have duplicates. So right after we import that, and that only takes, I don't know, about 20 seconds, we're going to come over to our folder. We're going to go to our process desktop folder and we're going to cut what we just copied over there, we'd cop, we'd hit right click and cut. I'm not going to do it because I want those folders. We're going to cut those and just put them into this archived hands folder. And we just, we just put it right in here into processed. We would paste it right in here and our, uh, this would have all of our hands. So this archived is all of our hand histories and it's kind of nice having them saved to a, uh, backed up to a, uh, dr a cloud storage because if I ever leave this computer or this computer crashes, I'll still have all my hand histories here, which is nice. Um, and that's essentially it. So each time you jump from one computer to the other, you're going to go into that computer and you're going to import hands, get hands from disk, and you're going to copy over any of the hands you played on the other computer. So it's not like something you're going to have to be doing every day, but it's something you're going to do every time you switch computers. And it's only going to take you about 60 seconds. So it is something you need to do, um, but it's not long. It's, it's two steps. It's import the hands from disk and then cut and paste the hands into the archived hands. So essentially when we start playing, we're going to want these folders to be empty, essentially, um, if, as long as everything's synced. So I'm hoping this is making sense. It takes a minute to get it, but I'm hoping this video explains it better than the tutorial. <laughs> and maybe it doesn't, but I feel like it takes a little bit of explaining. So <clears throat> if we come back over here, we can look at this. We play some poker here. Those hands are automatically saved once we set it up the way we just did. Those hands automatically save to the 
to the sync folder and then we need to import get hands from disk to our new computer all the hands we play here automatically sync to this folder which when we come back to this computer we need to get hands from disk here and anytime you get hands from disk right after you get hands from disk take those same hands and put them into the final archive in my situation it's process desktop processed laptop and archived hands that's the best way i could understand it that's what makes the most sense to me so just to reiterate <clears throat> get some kind of cloud storage i recommend dropbox create three files or three folders and then go into poker tracker on one computer go to configure import preferences make that make it move move process files to one of your folders go to your other computer do the same thing but put it in the other folder every time you switch computers you're going to want to get hands from disk and take the files that are in so if you're on the desktop you're going to want to grab the laptop folders and copy them over if you're on the laptop you're going to want to grab the desktop files and copy them in and then move them into the archived hands <coughs> sounds like a lot sounds a little confusing but it it works out quite nicely and uh, I hope this video helped you out um, and I hopefully I didn't forget anything so <laughs> yeah that's all I have to say so have a good one guys see ya